Hello and welcome to my Linux user reacts to, oh, well, I guess reacts to the Windows 11 installation process video. My name is Salas, and as you can see, I use uh, a Linux version. I use Pop OS as a daily driver for, I think, like, what, five months now? Let's, uh, I've, I've put a uh, little virtual box here. I hope that this is going to just work. <laughs> Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I've now found a guide, and I will follow this and see <laughs> see if that goes well. God, i got to go into reg edit, really? Is that true? Is that how you install Windows 11? Is that what you... Well, I guess that's not what you're supposed to do. I guess that's what you have to do if our overlords at Microsoft have decided to um, not use... to not let you use computers made in the last... I don't know, three years or older. <laughs> Sit backslash system backslash setup. Right click and create new key. R really? New key. Open. Create a new. A D word. What the fuck does that? What, what the hell kind of menu is this? No, wait. No, wait. Why can't you use the number pad here? Why? Double click. The D word entry. To set it to four to one or zero. As per your need. Oh my god, what the fuck is wrong with you? What? Why are these different menus? Oh my god, that's fucking dumb decimal one. Are you insane? What kind of menu is this? What kind of shit menu is this? That's this menu. Why is that different menus when you double click it? Oh my god. Is that it? Is that really it? They cannot- Microsoft cannot be this dumb. You, they cannot be that shit. Install now. There we go. There we go. Something is happening. Oh, well, actually, that's... We are not past yet. Windows 11? When home? Hey! Are you serious? Is it that easy? Oh, God. It cannot be that easy to install it. On an unsupported system. If that's the case, I'm going to be really surprised. <laughs> really? <laughs> that's so true. Oh god, now we get the, the horrid installation experience. So this part isn't that bad, it's just like, it's doing things on its own. Which is fine, I guess you can leave it. And as long as it just like installs features and installs updates and does all of those things. Then it's good. Just type in, oh, bypass TPM check one. <laughs> I can't get over this. Oh, God. That's so funny to me. That's like actually pretty funny to me. I thought, I thought like, oh, the TPM chip and all those things were supposed to be really like essential. But no, apparently not. If you could just disable it like that, like, like easily, it takes like two minutes if you don't accidentally get the wrong shit editor instead of the good one that people actually know how to use windows needs to restart well well i guess remove the disk quick quick remove the disk it's probably fine yeah okay it's fine you need to press the key anyways okay what's the getting ready what does getting ready mean I hope it's done now. If it has to do like, oh, setting things up now or something. Did it restart again? Oh my god, why? Look, I like how it even knows it's running on a virtual bo it on a virtual box thing, otherwise it wouldn't put the screen. Just a moment, what is it doing now? What is the point of having a, a, a installation part if afterwards it's not even done yet? Oh, great, look, it's the new... It's the logo! Oh, okay, there we go. It's the new experience. 
Wow, look at how much it looks like a mobile operating system, which I don't like. But that's just my opinion. G. G. To set up your device using a screen reader, turn on narrator by pressing Windows plus Control plus Enter. For more accessibility features, press Windows plus U, or select the accessibility icon in the bottom I've corner. I've pressed G for... to go to the fucking G thing. Oh my god. I hate it already. Every single time, when, there, when there's a menu like this, oh, select what country you're in, I press the G because it always goes to, like, Georgia or something. No, no second layout. Checking for updates. Why couldn't you do that before? It literally, it literally before, it said, oh, installing updates in the fucking installation process. It's installed now. It said installing updates. Why haven't you installed updates already? Good things coming your way. Oh my god, re why is it restarting the PC? No. <laughs> Why? Oh my god. Are you actually are you actually serious? This is not better than Windows 10. This is like this is not worse, but just as crap as I remember Windows 10 installation being. Oh no. Oh god. Let's name your device. Win 11 VM. Really, that's it. I guess it has to restart again for... A critical error has occurred while running the virtual machine. Why ignore? What happens if you press ignore? Guru Medi meditation error. Oh. <laughs> this is not convincing me that, like, Windows is good in any way. There's a... <laughs> right. Okay, so at least it remembers that I put in a name already. Do you need to add a Microsoft account? Don't want to add a Microsoft account. Create pin. Okay. Why? I mean, that's fine, but why? Why not just use a normal user account, a normal password? Let Microsoft and apps use your location. No. Find my device. No. Send diagnostic data. Required only, or I would like to do none, but I guess you have to go into the registry and then put, <laughs> then put zero instead of one. <laughs> Improve inking and typing. What the fuck is inking? Don't use diagnostic data to help and improve language recognition. No, go away. Get tailored experiences with diagnostic... No. Let apps use advertising ID. No. Let's customize your experience. Okay. Entertainment. Select all the ways you plan to use your device. Yeah, personalized tips, ads, and recommendations. No, nothing. Skip. I want personalized. I, I just put no as fuck you, don't track me for ads, no personalized ads. And then they go ahead and be like, oh, well, let's target ads based on do you use this for work or for Netflix or for games? Try premium office apps for free with Microsoft 360. <laughs> No, I'm not gonna do that. That's no, oh, no. Wow, if that if that shit is integrated in your operating system, it's just gonna like, it could keep popping up this like, oh, try for free now, and then eventually you'll just press it on accident, and it will charge you insane amounts. Or oh oh oh, there we go. Checking for updates. It just it. <laughs> Whoa, oh my god, what's happening now? Don't say hi, just fucking give me the desktop. Getting things ready for you. Again, what what has what has Windows done before? What has Windows done before in the bloody installation screen? 
Didn't you just install the operating system? At least it claimed to, but now I guess it has to re- it has to actually install it? But hey, look how pretty it looks. It has like fucking bubbles or whatever this is. Weird lights behind it, which reminds me of the fucking PlayStation 1 CD player menu. That's what it looks like, except kind of more boring here. <laughs> That's like actually true. <laughs> Come on, man. Please keep your PC on and plugged in. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Fuck, there's already bullshit ads on here. Yeah, why is that? Oh my god. Oh, okay. So it takes about three clicks of ever having used this operating system and from going to... Uh, to going from, wow, looks kind of modern, to, oh look, it's back to Windows 95 again. Does it actually have all the updates installed now? Is it sure? Is it actually sure? Last update. Checked last one minute ago. Oh, okay, that's a mini. I guess it just lied when it said installing updates. It just never did. Get me up to date. Restart as soon as possible to finish updating. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you something. Right here, just type in sudo apt update, type in your password, and it updates itself. And though, it also says how oh, 17 packages can be upgraded. Type in the same thing, but put upgrade now, and then, oh look, there's like Firefox updates, and that's basically most of it. Did you press yes? And then that's it. You don't need to restart it. That's basically all the updates and upgrades installed. That's literally it. Meanwhile, on in fucking Windows land, there literally is an option that says, get me up to date, restart as soon as possible. Notify me 15 minutes so I can make sure the device is plugged in. <laughs> Pause updates. I forgot that this existed. Pause updates for one week. Okay, yeah. Sure, when you're like, oh, let's not restart it four times during this week's usage. Get started. Welcome to Windows. Oh, yeah, I'm going to press this. Why is, what is it all installed here? Instagram. Uninstall. TikTok. Uninstall. Facebook. Uninstall. Disney Plus. Uninstall. Clip Champ. I don't even fucking know what this is. Uninstall. Prime Video. Uninstall. How many things are there? How many things are there? Oh my god, this menu is dumb. Look at this. I like how it goes from... <laughs> you can see a small amount of apps. And then you press all apps and then... It shows you immediately less. <laughs> Why? Why? I, I expected this to just like expand this menu to make it just like bigger. But no, it goes into this list, which is like copied from Windows 10. Why is it like a multi-stage installation process? Why does it go like, oh, installing Windows now? Then it restarts itself and then it goes, oh, getting Windows ready. Oh, there's one single option. Thank you for choosing this option. Well, now we have to reset, restart it again. And then, oh, now, now, now we're actually getting Windows ready for you. Wow. I don't understand that. No Linux version works like that. You just install it and then like two minutes later, you're up and running. Like installing Windows is an entire process. Maybe I'm going to do another video where it's like, oh, look. 
this is how much better the Windows installation thing could have been by just showing a fucking standard Linux installer. Uh, installer. <laughs> We just like take lit genuinely takes like a minute to like press all the settings and then you just wait and then it restarts itself and it's done. But okay, I guess I have too high of standards here because if you like it, very good. But I don't, so thank you. Goodbye.